This week on the Inked Well, we're taking a look at the Diplomat Arrow in matte silver with a broad nib. This particular pen was provided at discount for review, so just throwing that out there right now. On the outside, standard box Diplomat logo, letting you know what's inside. I like it, not over the top, not over assuming. On the inside, we get a rather interesting interior packaging. So protecting the pen is this metal partial sleeve covering the inner cardboard box. It's actually a pretty substantial piece of metal, so not bad. I'm kind of wondering what the decision process was there for that, but hey, it looks nice. On the inside, we have a paper flap covering the pen itself. And underneath the pen, we have the warranty slash care guide along with two short international cartridges. Um, I think they're blue. I didn't actually check. And now we get to the pen itself. So the Diplomat Arrow features an anodized aluminum body. In this case, this is the matte silver for the pen chalet finish. You've got Diplomat as well as Germany on the cap band. And underneath the cap, We've got this number six Yovo nib with the Diplomat logo stamped onto it, as well as the size, which once again, broad nib. And unscrewing the body, you also get the included standard international converter. This one though, actually has the Diplomat made in Germany printed on the converter. It doesn't necessarily add much to the pen, but it's a nice touch. One other thing before we get into the writing sample, this clip is very stiff, extremely stiff. So for the writing sample, we're going to be using Diatramentus Petrol, and we're going to be doing the writing sample in our Penchelet Edition Endless Works Tomoe River Paper Notebook. So let's go ahead and get to the writing sample itself. Now, one thing about this pen that I want to point out, right off the bat, it wrote very smooth, no flow issues, no skipping, and that phrase glides across the paper really did apply to this nib. So they knocked it out of the park, at least with the quality control on this one. Going through the quick brown fox, you can tell it's laying down a pretty wet line. We'll look at the close-ups here in a second, and you'll be able to see that with this nib, there's such a good amount of flow to it that if you get a medium or a broad nib for this pen, you're definitely going to see the shading or the sheen for whatever ink that you're using. If it's a shader or sheener, some of them are flat. All right, so here's the first close-up. And take a look at that shading I was talking about. Now we're gonna go ahead and do a quick sample of upside down and right side up writing. So you can see the line variation that you can get from this nib in that worst case scenario where you've got sub-standard non-fountain pen paper. We've all found ourselves there, like really cheap office paper, that kind of thing. And we're going to go ahead and just do some vertical hash marks really quick, just to see if we can get this nib to skip or dry out. Now, admittedly, I'm not the fastest writer in the world by far, but even with other pens, I've had them give up by like the 12th hash mark. So 
This one did pretty good. So let's go ahead and go through the pros and cons of the Diplomat Arrow. So this particular one has extremely good flow. And from what I've seen on social media and from conversations I've had, that's actually pretty common for these to have really good, smooth flow. Also, it's a metal pen. I like metal pens. It's a good feel. And it's metal construction without just being overly heavy. You know those pens. You know how they feel. This one's not like that. It actually feels good in the hand. The third pro is kind of the price if you get it at discount. So the Diplomat Arrow is normally a $156 pen. And with a discount over at Pen Chalet, you can get it for 10% off. All you have to do is click on that radio podcast link and then type in Inkdwell, which also gives you 10% off site-wide. So there is that. And you would get free shipping on it because, well, it's over $50. So let's go ahead and touch on the cons because there are some cons to this pen. The first one is the fact that it's a snap cap. It doesn't matter how good the pen is for me. If it's got a snap cap, that's just automatically a negative against that one. And the second one is that section. That has to be the fourth most uncomfortable section I've ever used. And part of it is the way the section is textured. The other is the fact that there's no taper to it whatsoever. So where does that put me on this pen? It doesn't have as many pros as I would like from it. And those are some pretty severe cons, at least for me. So for the Diplomat Arrow, I've got to give it a six and a half out of 10. I want to give it more, but it just falls short. So there you go. If you liked this review, click that like button. If you didn't like it, you know what to do. Either way, support the channel by clicking the links down below and I'll see you next week.